Hi, welcome everybody. Uh, welcome to TWR Facebook Live. So happy to be here and happy to continue with this uh, conversation and a little teaching and also a little meditation. So last time or last week, uh, we were talking about finding fullness in emptiness. And so how was uh, the meditation? Have you all trying to do a meditation? During this week? Have you had some experiences? How are you feeling? Of course, sometimes we, some, not all of our lives are in a similar situation. Sometimes some people do feel like a, a sense of very empty and, um, and that emptiness is very powerful. And uh, that this feeling of empty, void, lonely, isolation, it takes over everything, so it becomes hard. And so that is the time when we need to define some sense of uh, uh, awareness of fullness. So uh, how, how many of you are feeling a little bit like that? Or how many of you are uh, working with these instruction and practice and also uh, Cyber Sangha support? And how many of you are feeling that support? And I think sometimes it's a very good that we share our experiences so that we are sending our support. Then when you receive the support, then you express that you do receive a support. So we all feel like we are sending, uh, supporting each other and we all feel like uh, we're receiving each other also by letting each other know. So I hope you do that. So today's topic is discovering the light in the darkness, discovering the light in the darkness. So once again, I would like to kind of go back and talk about it a little bit from the point of view of the teaching from the source uh, and also uh, my understanding about the source of the teaching and uh, my own experiences with this and also some, some uh, practical um, uh, advices uh, how, to, how to practice, how to actually discover or how to find this uh, sense of light and purpose in the moment of feeling very dark. In a way, the world today is just some sense that there is so much sense of um, uh, separation, uh, so much sense of uh, um, negativity around there. And so sometimes it is very important to feel that, you know, like there, there is some sense of support there. So some sense of finding that inner strength in these moments and situations in our life. So, so, so first, first, I think uh, in terms of the meaning, I wanted to say, what does this mean? idea of darkness and idea of light. So the idea of darkness, uh, of course, we in any time, like in environment, when we think about um, darkness, when there is no sun, when there is no light, uh, we think about as a darkness. When there is a darkness, we, we have a, a doubt. We, we are not able to uh, see things, uh, perceive things, feel things. Uh, connect with things, recognize things, because the the environment is dark. There is no light there. So that's what the metaphor is. And uh, the notion of light is when there is a light, uh, like a sunlight, when there is a light um, or in the room, uh, when you light a candle, and that it illuminates the, that environment and it clears the doubt of the environment. So it, so you don't wonder what is what it is, and what, you basically you able to see, uh, recognize, feel, 
connect and that is the what the light does so so in a way the darkness is like a ignorance and the light is the awareness it's as simple as that we say we can say like a marikpa the darkness and uh, light is like a rikpa the the awareness innate awareness so 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 some sense of innate awareness and the darkness this is what we are talking so example another example will be like sometime what kind of light how big the light is how pervasive the light is like if if sun shines so that whole environment illuminates and the darkness clears when one area of the valley or city it's uh sky is clear sun is shining but another area is uh, it's it's a it's maybe it's a dark um sun is not shining it's clouded so that means uh, locational it's like a, some sometime uh, some aspect of our light can be illuminated uh, but some aspect of our light can be very very dark so it's some sense of uh, uh locations you know and some so in also another way to look at it individually also in one person one might feel one time one moment in one's life very dark and another moment in one's life feeling very illuminated so either it's entire environment in one city one valley or in one room what whatever amount of light arises it does clears the similar amount of darkness so that's kind of metaphor so of course in some sense of experiences it's in our life the the sense of darkness sometimes is there and um and also some sense of a uh, feeling of sadness pain is there loneliness is there but these experiences are they come and go and uh, whenever they come you always have a logic some kind of rational reason thinking about i'm feeling so down and i'm feeling so dark and whatever rational logic is and of course sometimes these rational logic become so strong overwhelming for one self to feel bad or i have done something wrong or i i am not able to forgive or or i'm not able to do this or i don't have a friends whatever uh rational reasons that you have but there is so overwhelming that it does take it over so 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 some sense i think it's important to understand how these experiences happen in oneself so it's not to think that really really like a one rational reason should should be total reason to want to feel fell into the darkness because every reason can kind of put you into dark or every reason can bring the light so so there is so there is no circumstances or no situations no experiences which will not able to bring the light it's it's very much question about oneself uh, one's own uh, how you how strong you are how clear you are how positive outlook you have what you see in things will define their ability to turn it around and feel the light so that so light is very much like that i will also talk a little bit about what in in the notion of what light means so for example now a few a few examples will be what what is the light for in some sense of course one can say many different things but i will try to explain a little bit my understanding of light will be i would look at different ways to look at what light means uh, from very um some sense of dualistic very conventional to very non dualistic non conventional non local a sense of light so the light could have a very small illuminating a room to illuminating whole universe the light can un- illuminate whole universe or it can illuminate only one room depends on the size of light so in one simple word i would say light is like a knowing the awareness the awareness the knowing uh, uh being conscious 
recognition, recognizing, discovering is what light is. For example, uh, when we are in pain, when we are suffering, the moment when you are in pain, the moment you are, in, you are suffering, you, the moment you feel a sense of loss, a recognition of that pain or recognition of that pain identity, it is a light. So sometimes it's good to recognize that because sometimes people say, well, I feel bad. I recognize I feel bad, therefore I'm feeling bad. So instead of saying that, I feel good because I recognize I am feeling sad, I'm feeling a little bit lost, but I'm conscious of it, I'm aware of it. I don't feel so much ability to turn it around. I don't feel so much, so much strong strength, but I am fully aware that I am feeling lost. I am feeling down. A recognition is also a light. So there's a small light, but it's a light. It's like a conceptual awareness. It's a light. So what I'm saying here is sometimes value these little recognition, value little candles. Don't look for big sun. Just look for little lights in life. And and these little engagement with the little light that you, you know that you are familiar with will help you further to discover a greater light. But if you don't see them, don't recognize them, you don't engage with these little lights, and then the big light is not there, so then you remain totally in a darkness. You don't even have this little light. So it's important to recognize these little lights, what I'm trying to say. Recognition, like even uh, in, uh, they're turning the wheel of the Dharma, Buddha's first wheel of the Dharma, like when Four Noble Truth, when we say recognition of suffering. Dungal Demba. So recognizing the suffering, that recognition, it's a value there. The recognition, it's a light. Not everybody who suffers recognize their suffering. Not everybody who is suffering, they don't recognize their suffering or they don't look for a light or they don't hope for a light. They are totally lost in suffering. That's the big differences between Yes, both of you are both of your suffering, but one recognizes your suffering, one uh, l looking looking for a light and uh, hoping for a light, like a very very long, dark, rainy, cold winter. Imagine that that when you are going through those moments, maybe m m for sure it's hard. It's a very long winter. It's a dark. It's a cold. But then still, you know, that's not the whole season is about. There is, after winter, there is a spring coming. And during the spring, the sun will shine. The trees will give, you know, the grow, the flowers will bloom. So there, there is this moment that you look forward, you trust it exists. Even you're not experiencing that moment, it exists, awareness of its existence. Seeing it, feeling it, connecting like that, I think it is also a very powerful support, and particularly for those people in that moment who are in that particular situation. Second, another aspect of the light will be, uh, you know, f knowing that, like for example, if somebody is feeling very sense of lonely and isolated, n knowing there is some sense of the inner three refuges are there, refuge are there, inner refuge is there, cyber sangha is there, a community is there. Even 
strangers can be beneficial, benef be helpful if you are open and if you approach, seek for help. The universe is there to help you. But your question is your openness toward universe and your ability to outreach toward universe and have some sense of trust to the connection and to the support rather than feeling negative all the time and fighting. Life is always about struggle and fight. So what in the, in the teaching we will say like a finding an antidote. So some sense of, tr you know, light, antidote is a light. Love is a light when you feel anger. Generosity is a light when you feel very greedy. Inner discipline, inner uh, strength, confidence is light when you're feeling weak. Hope is a light when you're feeling like a hopelessness, some sense of very, very supportless. There is support. You are not alone and uh, recognizing there is a support, there is an antidote. All ten parajana paramitas are there. Knowledge is there to support us. So, so recognition of antidotes, recognizing the antidote, and having a glimpse of experiences of these antidotes that, that I'm feeling very lonely, but I feel also at the same time very connected to the Cyber Sangha. And in one way, maybe I'm very feeling a lot of anger, but I do feel also love even toward my own anger. Uh, toward people who who are in a similar situation, to people who need help, people who are in a worse situation than me. They need care and love, attention. The ability to give, feel and give love, even in the moment when you're feeling anger, that love is a light. It's a conventional sense of light, but it's still a light. It, yeah, that's what we call antidotes. Nyimpo, nyimpo givito. And then another, more, more like in a deeper sense of light will be uh, just recognizing, you know, even, even if I'm feeling good, my, my feeling good is also based on delusions. One moment, an historical moment, one rational way of rationalizing thing based on upbringing and different uh, conditional cultural conditionings. I am reasoning some aspect of my life and I say this is a great moment to be happy because I got a new car or something like that. Well, yeah, for some people that is a happiness and some people maybe that's not the happiness. Maybe that's the beginning of the trouble. So whatever reason that you are happy or sad, particularly sad, reason why you are sad, reason why you are feeling dark, there's no good reason to feel dark. There is no good reason to feel feeling dark. Because you are a light. You are that unbounded space. You are that infinite light. You are the infinite possibility. You are this potentiality. You are this warmth. But you are having an experience of darkness this moment. That's not who you are. So this very consciously saying, this is not who I am. I'm having this moment of experiences and also in a way all the rationality behind what I'm feeling is doesn't make any sense in the truth is doesn't make any sense. 
from you look from one historical moment to another historical moment, none of these logic make any sense. It's a human fabrications, conditional fabrications. I'm, I'm feeling that. So I do not particularly, you know, if this is the, not the reason, when people feel sad or conflict, you know, sometimes you know clearly you will manage to suffer. So you can say, well, I'm suffering now because of these are my logic reasons why I'm suffering. Now you ask, your, ask yourself a question, what about if these situations were not the case? Would you not suffer? No, you would still suffer. You might find better reasons, worse reasons, but you will find a reason good enough to put you in the same place what you're going through because maybe this is a process that you need to go through in order to find your own light. So this is, in a way, it's a journey through which you are going. It's your journey, maybe it's an important journey to find the, your light. So it's not, instead of saying, I wanted to find the light without going through it. Well, it's possible, but not everybody for, possible for everybody. And most time, it's not for most people, the journey is important part of the finding light. So in some sense of what I'm saying here is the, the light is also a sense of really ability to break logic of suffering. There is no reason. There is no good reason to suffer. But there is always, you can find a reason when you wanted to suffer. And that is the logic. And that, that logic in itself help, should help you not to suffer. Because, uh, because we think objectively there is some reason to suffer in the moment when we are suffering. Then you say, well, if this is not the situation, I will probably I will still suffer. So it maybe it's better go beyond. At least, at least have some sense there is something beyond. And the last one, a notion of light, I think it, it is what we say, uh, going beyond duality. I, I know it's a very beautiful thing and a very fancy thing to say. It's a fancy thing to discuss about it. But, but I think it, it, in a way, it's still good to talk about it. And, it, uh, you know, if there are people who are ready to be um, awakened, illuminated, maybe can help to click. But most of us, at least it's good to talk about it. This is something like beyond duality. So going beyond duality and discovering the truth within oneself, discovering a three kayas within oneself. So in some sense of what we say here, it's like a kusum uh, like a kusum, so manifesting the three kaya fully within oneself. Another way to exp express that will be like really feeling like an uncond unconditional sense of space. of really feeling like uh, that bigger sun is shining in the universe rather than a little candle is lit in, in a little room. And also feeling that you are s s far bigger than your experiences and your perceptions and your exp yeah, your, the way you are suffering, you know, like the suffering is just kind of does not make any sense. So ability to go beyond duality, discovering the innate awareness, the innate self-awareness. Rang Rigpi Ishe, Rang Yungi Ishe. And so that is absolutely the ultimate light. So this, this is not an antidote or trying to change something or transform something. It's just basically the light illuminates the darkness as light does. Light does not ask questions to the darkness. 
light does not say, hello darkness, how long you have been dark? How many years you have been dark? What are the cause and conditions that you have been dark? How deep you are in dark? What is your attitude toward darkness? Do you like darkness? Do you identify with it? Do you see any other options, possibilities? Light is not going to ask any of these questions. And light will not say, well, first you answer all these questions, then I will see, first of all, if I will work with you or not. Or then I will define, I, I will decide how much I, sh I will charge you, depends on the circumstances and how long I have to work with you. The light will not ask these questions. Light illuminates the darkness the moment it shines in the darkness. Either it has been 1,000 years old darkness or it has been only like one hour of darkness. There is no more effort in 1,000 years old darkness. There is no less effort in one hour's darkness. It just does what it meant to do. So, so some sense I think it's good to believe in oneself also because sometimes we look back, we look back to our stories. Oh, my stories, my lifelong stories, or oh, my lifelong story with this group of people, that with that particular person or this particular situation, my with my family, and you you're looking at the stories. You're not looking at the light. You're not looking at the antidote. You're not even looking at you that you are looking at too much. You're looking too much at the stories. You're not aware of any of these things, but the things that you're trying to be engaging, it's not helping you. So that's not the way, in, in a ways of like discovering the light or being, being helpful with a situation with the light. So how do you find the light in the dark, darkness? So this is exactly, I think in some sense, I did mention already, I think some sense, recognizing your pain, recognizing um, your antidotes, like even in the moment of darkness, able to feel love, able to give love, able to connect with somebody, able to listen to somebody, even no matter how bad you're feeling, but still being interested in others, to listen, to hear, to connect, to care, to give, to share, interested in these things. And because these things are also a light that will help you not doing only motivation you're trying, it will help you, but it, it, it's more like a trusting your ability to do it even in that moment. So that is how you find the light. And not, not getting caught up with the stories and logic and rationality all the time, notion of light, but also sometimes thinking like, like in the teaching it says, they're all like really true illusions. People get so much in self-focus. I mean, people do all kinds of things, very much self-centered and self-focused. In a very limited way of experiencing the virtues. So, so some sense, I think there's a little, mainly what I'm trying to say here is, the little lights are important to find it in order to find big light.
the more these little awareness becomes stronger, the more these conceptual darkness becomes weaker. Chesal, chesal, e chesal. So, so more the wisdom becomes clear, the less the darkness becomes. Chesi, chesi, nam toshi, chesal, chesal, e chesal. So, these thought conceptual mind becomes less and less and weaker and weaker. Darkness becomes less and less. And then the awareness of light becomes stronger and stronger. So bringing these sense of awareness in your life. So that's the, I think, um, kind of important way to do it. Knowing the darkness as a darkness, knowing the darkness as a path, knowing the darkness in the darkness, there is possibility to find light, building that trust. And moment, when moment you know you'll find it, the, the chances of finding it is already there. So maybe the last thing, I'll leave with one question. Think about that no matter how much experiences of the darkness is there, the way of finding the light will be this, this sense of trusting yourself and your inner strength and your true self, who truly you are and, and transcending and overcoming everything and going beyond that and saying, what is the best thing that I can do in this difficult situation? In this moment of darkness, what is how I can illuminate, bring the light in this moment of darkness? What I can do the best in this worst situation? What I can find in this sense of feeling lost? What is the best I can find in this moment, a sense of when I'm feeling, get, I'm feeling lost? how I can enrich, how I can grow, how I can benef be beneficial, how I can transform in even this moment, it, it's difficult. So what this, mo what this moment helps you to do to transform and transcend? Because in a way, when we say darkness, you already say it's a darkness. You, you already cut the light away. You already said no light, no awareness, no joy, no beneficial, no helpful, no compassion, no love. In a way, you're logically, automatically, you have kind of eliminated all this potentiality. I think that's the most important part, not do that. No matter what it is, what I can make the best out of this. Ask this question again, again, and again. And the more you ask, more deeply you ask, more with the confidence and trust you will ask, the greater answer you will find. And when you find the answer, feel the strength to take action on these answers that you found within your place of confidence. So that's all for uh, for this session. So I will um, we will do a short session of meditation. I will uh, I will do the guided short guided meditation. As you all know, uh, those who wanted to s sing the Salaya Mantra, uh, sing together. Those who just wanted to listen, listen, and uh, and also I I. Uh, I'm requesting all of you that all the people who are participating this moment together, that we are all connected together. Uh, you could be just sitting right next to me in this room. Uh, there is no differences in distance, time. Distance and time is only mental fabrication. In the openness, there is not. The, the connection is there. So. Let's feel we are all connected and let's feel that we are all supporting each other. Let's feel no matter how much weak you feel, we want your support. 
and and we are giving our support to each other so we are giving to each other support regardless of how strong you feel or how weak you feel our ability to give support is our strength and our uh, part of our light discovery of our light
Thank you. I hope this uh, session of meditation was helpful. So um, um, I hope what we are trying to discuss about discovering the light in the darkness makes some sense. Uh, at least we are all able to kind of sit here, practice together, connect together. It's definitely a joy for me. So thank you and see you soon again.